What is up, Dream Media? How are you guys doing? Chana D here, and today I'll be talking to you about one of my favorite brands. We're doing a little brand spotlight on Focal. Now, I'm sure you've probably seen that we do install a lot of Focal in wall or custom integration in ceiling speakers. But uh, today we're going to be talking about their floor standing speakers. I have a pair of Aria 926 upstairs. I do have a pair of Cora 816 that I also need to check out and I'll probably do so in the coming weeks. Now the Cora line is their cheapest line that they've got and I know a lot of you are like, well, why would I spend more on a speaker? Like, don't they do the same thing? Well, in essence, yes, they, you know, make sound, right? And you can hear music and you can watch movies from them. But just like anything else that's handmade, you get a lot more detail and you'll get a different experience out of Focal. Now, when I say handmade, I mean everything is handmade, right? All of it is made in France. We're talking tweeter, tweeter assembly. We're talking the drivers, even the flax cone that's in the Aria series, the Kanta series. It's actually an organic substance that they grow in France. So it's like on another level. If you didn't know, Focal actually makes their drivers by hand and they've actually been making drivers for many, many, many companies. I remember back in the day with my KRK V6 studio monitors, those drivers in that iconic pair of studio monitors were also made by Focal. Now you're probably like, well, okay, that's cool, right? But what does that do or what does that mean as far as the sound is concerned? So let's say you take company A that has drivers made in China. Basically what they do is they take the exact same driver and stick it in as many enclosures as possible, right? So let's say they have six and a half inch driver and they'll put two of them in a tower and they'll be exactly the same. They'll take that and also put it into a bookshelf speaker. They'll take that same driver and put it into a center channel speaker. And when you're using the same driver in all these different enclosures for different purposes, you really don't get a tailored sound, right? It's more, I'd say, mm, kind of like a generic sound, for lack of a better term, because they're just getting a speaker that can you know, reproduce a certain frequency range. And what they have to do now is they have to make a more aggressive crossover to get that speaker to perform the way they want to in said position, right? Some, some of these uh, speaker manufacturers have like four, six and a halfs, in a center channel where like the outer two are the lower base, the inner two are the mid base, and then they got their, you know, tweeter handling the highs. So to achieve this, they have to have a very aggressive crossover network. And this kind of impedes on the sound reproduction. Now with Focal, if you're looking at say the Aria 926, like I have upstairs, we have a six and a half inch mid driver and we have two six and a half inch base drivers. Now, what's the difference between the two? So the base drivers are going to have a thicker material for the cone. The flax is gonna be thicker than the mid base driver. Ideally, you're gonna need a cone that's stiffer. So having that extra thickness for the flax cone on the base drivers is definitely a plus. Also, you're gonna have larger magnets on the back end of those drivers, as opposed to the six and a half that they use as their mid driver. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. When you build and design a driver for a specific purpose, for a specific enclosure, now we're getting into a different level of speaker altogether. We are going to now have a speaker where the bass drivers are really tuned for those lower frequencies. We're gonna have a mid bass driver that is tuned you know, with a thinner, cone with a smaller magnet, something that's going to actually reproduce those mid-tones better than the bass drivers. And in doing this, Focal realized that they don't have to have such an aggressive crossover network because the speakers are now tuned to that specific purpose. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. Like it's another level of speaker design. So let's make our way up to the tweeter and see exactly what is this inverted dome tweeter about and what makes it different from a standard dome tweeter. Well, first, let's talk about the materials. They're gonna be using an aluminum magnesium tweeter because they want something light and rigid. Now, if they go with the inverted dome, that actually adds more support to the tweeter than your standard dome tweeter. So with the standard dome tweeter, at that tip of the dome, 
there is absolutely no support at all. And when you're cranking it for long periods of time, that will start to shake and vibrate and cause resonances that aren't in the music. So what Focal has done is they've inverted the tweeter and added pretty much like a brace behind it. So that tip of that dome is not going to shake and it's not going to cause those resonances to occur due to the fact that the tip of the dome is supported. So again, we're talking about a different level of design and a different level of speaker. And of course, this is why they charge quite a bit of money for their speakers. It is because of all the research and development that goes into creating all of these drivers for specific purposes and to make sure you're getting all the sound unaltered and unfiltered by the speaker itself. Now here in my space, I've had plenty of speakers, plenty of tower speakers, plenty of bookshelf speakers. And with the towers, you know, I had the Klipsch RP280F, which I liked. And then I moved over to the Klipsch RF73s, which were monstrous. And then I moved over to the Martin Logan ESLX, which I still love to this day. And I still have those. I've gotten rid of the other ones. But one of the things that drew me to the Focal design is that my space isn't the best, okay? Now, I know we have a lot of like uh, obstacles to deal with when we're setting up a two-channel listening environment or just a home theater environment. Mine is upstairs in the living room, and I've got like an open back area on like the left speaker, but the right speaker is pretty much butt up against a window. It's like a large uh, window. It's not really a wall. And right to the side of that is another sliding uh, glass door that leads out to the patio. So I like the Focal design of the front firing and downward firing in the case of the Aria 926 port. Now the clip speakers I had had rear firing ports. So all that air is just slamming right against this window, which is not the like most ideal setup. And the Martin Logans, you know, they were really nice, but again, they have a bipole design. So they're supposed to be, you know, further out into the room. And that one speaker that's just kind of pinned up against that window, it's just not giving the best sound. It's not the optimal placement, but hey, that's all I got to deal with. So I really like the front firing port on the Focal Arias as I can now put my speaker at that location and not have any interference or not worry about, hey, you know, the sound is going to be weird because the port's firing right into that window. And I know there's probably a lot of two channel fans out there that don't have enough room and all you have is one space. You've got a TV, you've got a couple of speakers and, you know, maybe you want to do some surrounds. Well, Focal has, you know, bipole surrounds in the Aria line. They have a center channel. But for those of you that are in an even tighter space, the Focal 300 series in walls are using all the same components as the Aria line. So you can have a full surround sound experience using the exact same components, giving you that cohesive dome kind of situation. Even with Dolby Atmos, we've got 300 series in walls and ceiling speakers using flax drivers, using the aluminum magnesium tweeter. It's a great way to just have your two channel for music, maybe the standard box center channel, and you've got your in walls behind you for surrounds. You've got your in ceilings up above you for Atmos. It's a great system and you're going to have a great experience, especially when all of the drivers are the same. So if you're thinking about setting up a two channel listening environment, or you've got a TV room where you want to listen to music as well and have the best fidelity, and or you want to incorporate uh, Dolby Atmos into all of this, all in one space, a tight space, a medium space, small space, Focal definitely has you covered. And make sure you contact us at Dream Media Home Theater so we can get you guys a quote today. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, again, my name is Chana for Dream Media, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace. Just cruising through the neighborhood. On to the next one.